I mean, I don't think you could be more impressed. Um, we did a, I did a FSU game to start the season, the first game of the season. And I remember um, me, Jesse, Palmer, Reese Davis just looked at each other and talked about Jeremy Pruitt after our meeting. We were just like, wow, this guy's a star. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's unbelievable. He's, he's, he's a good coach. To see what he did last year just in one year at FSU to transform that defense and that lost all the NFL talent to, to be able to win a championship was was pretty amazing. He's good scheme versatility. Um, you know, he, he did he did a heck of a job. I think he's a I think he's a young star, a rising star in the coaching business for sure. Do you think that you know Mark Rick's ties to Florida State helped sway him in any way? I don't. Um, I, mean, I don't. I don't think uh, you know Jeremy Pruitt was. He wasn't there. He was. You know, he was with. He was an Alabama guy. Right. With, with Saban and those guys, but so I don't think I don't think it had any correlation. But I think you know him being on the staffs at Alabama and going against those teams, and you know, I think you get an idea of Coach Saban and how well coached his staffs have been. And you've seen Muschamp do well with Saban. You've seen Kirby do well with Saban. I think you've seen kind of a track record there. Kind of going off what you just said with Kirby, do you think Kirby Smart might have missed the boat on a good opportunity, or do you think he's more than comfortable sticking at Alabama with Nick Saban? Well, I mean, I, I don't think you speak for anybody's missing the boat or how they feel about it. I mean, I think that, I think that Kirby's, Kirby's done a heck of a job. He's done a great job, and I think a lot of people talk about the opportunity for Kirby to come, you know, quote-unquote home, you know, because he played at Georgia and I think that uh, he's a guy that was talked about the last time this, the hiring was made four years ago when it was Grantham, and um, Kirby would have been a great choice as well, especially you know the same type of scheme, learning under Nick for so long and being qualified. I just I don't know if you couldn't uh, reach terms with him, or I don't know what the, the deal is, but sometimes timing's not good for for different folks for different opportunities. What do you think will be one of the biggest impacts? Pruitt will have with Georgia's defense. A lot of people, you know, got down on them this year for being "quote unquote" young, but next year there won't be those kinds of excuses. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think communication will be one thing that's better. I mean, I think Todd Grantham did a did a pretty decent job, but he had a lot of talent. He had a lot of talent, specifically two years ago on that team that that really underachieved. And I think um, with Pruitt coming in, I think it'll be interesting to see the scheme. You know, Jimbo wanted him to run a more traditional 4-3 than a 3-4. He's accustomed to working with a 3-4 in the background. Last year, he kind of ran a hybrid 4-3, 3-4. Um, he's got great personnel, great talent. I think the one thing that's been lacking in Georgia is the ability to, to develop talent. You know, find somebody that can take the talent that they're given. And, you know, Coach Van Gorder, when, when he was there when I, when I was at Georgia, took, you know, Thomas Davis, a two-star, Randall Thurman, a two-star, um, me, a three-star, and... You know, he developed us and made us, you know, great football players and made us better football players. And I think that's, that's a, something that a coach has to do is look at the talent, evaluate it, see if people are, will be better suited in different spots and move them around and find the pieces that work. Well, uh, I know I'm certainly looking forward to seeing uh, Coach Pruitt get to work with Georgia, and I hope you are too. David, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you giving me a call. Yep,